NSFW, what have you found out about someone that you would never tell them you know? I found out my dad is gay and has been cheating on my mom with another man. One of our VPs is into interracial gangbangs. Clear your search history before calling it to look at your personal computer. Discovered that my uncle impregnated a woman just after WWII in Germany and he got sent back to the states before the little girl was born and he married his high school sweetheart and has never acknowledged the German woman and her baby girl even though she sent many letters, which my grandmother kept. Now his three kids, my cousins, have no knowledge of their older sister over in Germany. A bummy kid we had to gently eject from a gallery opening spent his exit begging for a few bucks. Offering to suck anyone's D for $10. It was an odd moment anyway. Capped by an odd. Sad offer. Later. I went out on the fire escape for a smoke. In the alley below was a straight acquaintance like square straight. Married with kids and a boring career leaning against the wall. Bum guy's head bobbing against his crotch. Getting a $10 beach from a sketchy tweaker. My first instinct was to make some noise. My second was I just don't want to be involved in this. Of course upon re-entering the party. Acquaintance's wife was the first goddamned person who spoke to me. Hey. Have you seen Bob? Is he out sneaking a smoke? It was a weird moment. I've said nothing for a decade. My boss is going through a divorce and is selling it at work like it is the first time ever and how devastated he is and is using it to gain favor points to get away with coming in 3 hours late and leaving early every day. Not saying that it might not be devastating. But, allow me to go on. By the tracking of his schedule I have been keeping, since no one else does, he is working about 15-20 hours per week for the past 4 months. I checked into him. He has been married four times previously. He had never been the petitioner for any of the divorces including this one. The deed on his house has been changed several times to add and remove each wife from it as well as refinance to buy them out. He is a severe alcoholic and a prick in general. Yeah, not going to tell him that I dug his life out of the internet like an infected ingrown toenail. Edit some letters. When I first got married my sister-in-law was living with us. One day, while she was at work, she called and asked that I email something to her from her desktop. This was prior to texting and email on phones being so prevalent. So, I used her laptop and her Outlook to send the attachment. I checked the sent items to make sure it went through with the attachment and found an email she had sent to someone of a bunch of pictures of her with lit candles shoved up her ass. I never said anything but had to start hiding all of our stick candles in fear that she'd ass tip all my Yankees. The person knows I know but I would never tell my family. When my cousin was 5 or 6 he was not part of our family yet. My uncle met his mom and they fell in love and moved in with each other. My cousin was still with his dad and my uncle and aunt were trying to get custody but her ex was a very wealthy man. Apparently he was also sexually abusing my cousin but it was hard to prove and her ex had some really good lawyers. My uncle was not a rich man but they needed money for a lawyer and a special therapist for my cousin so they could win the case. He robbed his workplace for the cash to pay all the fees needed to get my cousin away from his dad. My uncle's work found out and had him arrested he had to go to jail for two years. He told my family and everyone that he got a job abroad and had to leave for a few years so that he could pay for my cousin's lawyers. Everyone in my family still thinks that he went abroad to make extra cash only me and his wife know that he was in jail. My cousin is a very successful well adjusted happy man now. He doesn't really remember anything about living with his dad. My uncle says he would do it again a thousand times if it meant my cousin growing up safe. Something I would never tell my ex. I always knew the exact moment she fell asleep because she would fart. Found out that one of my best friends is an illegal immigrant and is totally unaware of it. Slept over one night. Went to grab a drink from the kitchen. And her parents were talking about how they might bring it up to her since she was getting older. The irony is that she frequently talks about how illegal immigrants should immigrate legally and that it's unfair her parents had to spend the time and money to get here the right way. One of those porn side bar ads used a picture of one of my friends. 
found out a few years ago that a friend's sister is really his mother and that his parents are really his grandparents. His real mom was so young that they took the baby in and raised him for their own so as not to spoil her future. They are all kind of messed up now unfortunately. I know that one of my best friends from high school college had sex with his sister for an extended period of time. I actually sort of on and off dated her for a while and during that time he got really weird. Of course at the time I assumed it was just a hey you banging my sister this is awkward kind of thing. Later on he and I were roommates and she and I had long since stopped any romantic interests. I used to work Saturday mornings pretty much every week. However, one week I was off and I guess he thought I was gone. I came downstairs and was trying to find him to see if he wanted to do anything that day. It ended up he was in the basement bathroom, where we usually showered and stuff. Before I realized that I went in his room where his computer was and there was a list of files pulled up in one window, dating over about a 3 year period. In another window there was a video up that he was obviously editing and it was very clearly him ducking his sister in the very room I was standing in. All the files were named stuff like me and B12162004 and stuff like that, making it pretty clear. I ran back upstairs and stayed in bed for a while. I'm in a fantasy football league at work. I was over in RFF and saw a post that was identical to a question my work buddy asked me that day. Looked at his username and he used his real first name. Checked his user history, and yup. It was him. Instead of spoiling it with a ha. Gotcha buddy. Right then and there. I've been following his posts and giving him bad advice on drops he should make. And lopsided trades he should specifically make with me. This all started 2 years ago. And he's since dropped out of contention and is now a basement dwelling bottom feeder at about 9th or 10th place. Reddit. Not safe for work leaks. Methodica. And what did we learn today Reddit? Never. Under any circumstances let anyone you love or care about use your computer. My friend doesn't really have a 1080p monitor even though he thinks it is dart. I know of a single mom. Struggling to pay bills. The ex-husband quit his job so he doesn't pay child support. She drives over to the next state to strip for money. I know she's ashamed and I'd never tell her or anyone else. She's trying to finish school while working another job too. One of my good friends is HIV positive. I found out through the grapevine. And immediately understood that I shouldn't know that about him. I've never said anything about it to him. But I've made a distinct effort to be more available to him as a friend. I figure if he ever wants to tell me. He will. If not. He could still use some kindness in his life. I had a friend that I worked with who had two faces. One was very kind and she acted like everything she did was in my best interest. The other one was very competitive and would do anything to reach her goals. Including cutting others down. One day I found an email she wrote our boss, saying bad things about me. I never told her. I just looked into her eyes when she talked. Knowing full well that there was a world of bullet behind all of that. I was able to cut her out of my life as of recently. So. I won't be telling her anything anytime soon. I like pizza. Thanks for listening and have a great day. I love you. One day while looking through Flickr. I came across some nude pictures of my co-worker. She has lots of photo albums on her account. Turns out she and her husband are swingers. I work with her on a daily basis. I would never tell her I have seen them. I discovered that an employee who claimed to be a Yale grad on his resume had never stepped foot on the campus. He was liked by the boss and some co-workers so confronting him on this would have caused quite a scene. My ex used to go through my browser history and emails. She never found anything. But always thought I was up to something. I knew this because I read her diary every day. I know a guy I grew up with who was hit all the time by his on off alcoholic lumberjack dad. One day the dad died from some heart failure or what not and when the cause of death report came out. It claimed he had been conscious after the incident had happened before he had died. My friend had told the police he had not been home but had biked to a friend's house to see if he wanted to go play basketball. I found out later at a party where we were drunk. When I asked him how it had been to come home to dead dad. 
that he had been home all the time and had heard his dad scream gasp in pain and fall over but that he had just stood there. First MT then smiling as his dad withered in pain and slowly expired into unconsciousness and died. Then when my friend was certain his dad was not waking up again. He called 911. Don't hit your kids and expect them to come through for you. One of my buddies has banged his girlfriend's mom numerous times and is still having very inappropriate text emails with her. She's married and has a very nice family. So it's especially wrong. It's tough to see the girlfriend around and not say anything. I have a friend who lives at home with his mom. He is old enough and probably makes enough to move out but isn't because. Honestly. He has a pretty good deal. She doesn't charge rent. Is happy to have him there. And they get along great. In fact even his friends, like me, consider her more like a friend than our friend's mom. Anyhow. Being a D one time. I scanned his browser history. Literally all mom and son porn. Going back weeks. Nothing but. That was disturbing and concerning. Now I am regularly encouraging him to get his own place. I found the Dpix my, now, son-in-law sent my daughter. She had backed up her computer to an external hard drive and didn't realize they went. To. My best friend is adopted. Overheard his parents talking about it one night. It would break him if he knew. My sister's boyfriend. While a great guy now. Was a troubled youth. He grew up with his grandparents as his dad is in prison and his mom is unreliable. Drugs. Once when he was a teenager. He was so angry at his grandfather for some reason so he used his toothbrush to clean the toilet. Funny, right? His grandfather contracted a bacterial infection so bad that he ended up losing all of his teeth and now wears dentures. I'll never bring this up to him because he's a genuinely changed person. I knew him when he was in high school. And he's nothing like the person he used to be. I'll never tell my family I know I was a twin. One of my grandmothers got drunk at Christmas and started to talk about it one year when I was a kid. Part of me wants to say she was wrong but the look of horror in some families faces before they had me leave to play with cousins always made it stick out. It would explain the lack of baby pictures and why I was baptized really early. Like few days old. I don't know what happened to my twin. Best friend. Mid 30s. Visits his parents and relatives late on Christmas Eve 2014 and quietly comes in late through the rear of the house carrying gifts. His extended family are in the living room discussing how it's surreal he doesn't know his aunt and uncle are his real parents and his parents are his aunt and uncle. Turns out at 17 they had him while dating an HS and gave him up to the older childless married aunt uncle who had been trying to conceive for many years. The stress of trying to have a child gone. The adoptive parents then had three kids in four years, his cousins. His real parents married a few years after his adoption and went on to have three children, his biological siblings. To this day everyone thinks he doesn't know and he has never let on to them he does. He has no hard feelings but it was a shocker. That all my friends oops. Babies were calculated plans executed by their girlfriends. And the birth control didn't work because she had stopped for two months and didn't tell you on purpose. My roommate punched himself in the eye and faked being jumped. Because his girlfriend was about to break up with him. They are now married. I found out my dad won the lottery. He won around $250,000 and has never told me or my brothers. It took some digging to find so I never told anyone because I figure if he hasn't told his family then he doesn't want anyone to know. Delayed gratification. From hours to years of tension that's fun to think about. I waited 15 years to get what I wanted. I didn't know if it was reciprocal or not and not knowing factored in as well. Don't get me wrong I didn't go out that time without. Just not with the guy I wanted to nail because I'd been in another kind of relationship with him, that I couldn't afford to mess up. I was married during this time, but I didn't hold off for moral reasons as well as immediate work stuff. I grew up without any kind of religious barrier. 